A 62-year-old man received a kidney transplant from a genetically modified pig. Surgeons at Massachusetts General Hospital transplanted a kidney from a genetically modified pig into a 62-year-old patient. The man is doing well and recovering after a four-hour surgery. There are currently no signs of organ rejection. According to a hospital statement, 62-year-old patient Richard Slayman is recovering after a four-hour surgery on March 16. The patient shows no signs of organ rejection and is expected to be discharged from the hospital soon. The organ was taken from a miniature pig from a genetically modified herd bred for the purpose of xenotransplantation, i.e. organ or tissue transplants from an individual belonging to another species. Using the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing method, pigs were introduced to 69 changes to their genome. All this to prevent the recipient's body from rejecting the organ and to reduce the risk of infection with the swine virus, which could hide in the organ and escape after transplantation, causing the organ recipient's death. A herd of genetically modified pigs was created to address the lack of organs available for transplantation. The best organ donors, apart from other people, are pigs. The size of the organs and the mechanisms of action are similar, and the genetic material does not differ significantly from the genetic material of humans. However, Pigs required genetic changes for these types of transplants to be successful because our immune systems immediately rejected the foreign organ. Some pig genes have been deactivated, others modified. In addition, several human genes were introduced into the pig genome. These modifications were intended to make pig organs more tolerant to the human immune system. In recent years, several experiments have been carried out to verify the concept of breeding specially modified pigs for the purpose of harvesting their organs. First, the organs were transplanted into primates. When these trials showed promising results, they began experimenting with humans. The most famous cases were two heart transplants from pigs. The first patient, David Bennett, died two months after the transplant. He did well at first. He began physical therapy to regain his strength. But after about six weeks his condition worsened and he died a few days later. The hospital said in a statement that the patient died due to multiple factors and general poor health. It later turned out that the transplanted heart contained a pig infecting virus that may have played a large role in the patient's death. The second patient who received a pig heart, Lawrence Fawcett, died six weeks after surgery. It is currently unknown exactly what caused the death. Doctors from the University of Maryland Medical Center wrote in a statement that the patient was making significant progress after surgery and was undergoing physical therapy. But a few days before his death, the first signs of rejection of the pig heart began to appear. The medical team did everything they could, but they could not save the man's life. It should be noted that both men suffered from very serious heart diseases and, according to doctors, they faced almost certain death due to heart failure.
But scientists have also transplanted a pig kidney into a human before. It was given to a brain-dead patient with symptoms of kidney dysfunction, whose family consented to the experiment before she was to be disconnected from life support. Surgeons attached a pig kidney to the patient's blood vessels and kept it outside her body for three days. This gave scientists the opportunity to have unlimited access to the organ and thoroughly examine the kidney. Now surgeons from Massachusetts General Hospital have transplanted a kidney into a 62-year-old man. Richard Slayman is recovering well and will likely be released from the hospital soon. According to a statement from the hospital, Slayman suffered from type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure for years. He also had kidney problems and was undergoing dialysis. In 2018, he received a human kidney transplant, but after five years the organ began to show signs of failure. In 2023, he resumed dialysis which resulted in serious complications requiring regular hospital visits. He would have to wait five to six years for a human kidney. He wouldn't be able to survive it, said Dr. Winfred Williams of Massachusetts General Hospital. After the transplant, the man was prescribed two antibody-based treatments to prevent organ rejection as well as immunosuppressive drugs. It is too early for doctors to declare the procedure a complete success, but the patient's good condition so far raises hopes that such transplants will one day be common. We hope dialysis will become obsolete, said Dr. Leonardo Riella of Massachusetts General Hospital. The kidneys filter toxic substances from the body, produce urine, and help control blood pressure. When surgeons restored blood flow to the transplanted pig organ, it immediately changed color and began producing urine, a sign that the transplant was successful, surgeons said. Another indicator of kidney health is the level of creatinine in the blood. High levels indicate that the kidneys are not doing their job well at filtering waste. Before the transplant, Slayman's creatinine level was 10 mg per deciliter, but on the fourth day after surgery it dropped to 2.4. The norm is about 1.5. It seems that for now the kidney is functioning as it should, admitted Mohammed Mohudin from the University of Maryland School of Medicine in Baltimore, who performed the first pig heart transplant in a living human. Crab-eating macaques, Macaca fascicularis, that received a kidney transplant from a modified herd run by a genesis. The same one from which the kidney was taken for the recent transplant, survived for long periods. One of the monkeys survived more than two years after the transplant. Scientists hope that Slayman's new kidney will serve him just as long, or maybe even longer.